Let's get started designing a welding fixture on the BuildPro table for a stair rail weldment. I'll start by going to the BuildPro website at buildprotables.com to get the CAD drawings of the BuildPro clamps and components. Now I have the option of selecting the CAD library from this tab here along the top bar if I want to download the full CAD library. I don't want to do that just yet, so I'm going to go to the product info page for the V-Block components and get the CAD drawing for that one specific component. I'm working with round tubes and the V-Block component will hold, locate, elevate and provide a clamping surface for my round tubes. I'm going to select the products tab and scroll down to the stops and rest section and there's the V-Block. I'll bring up the V-Block product page and I'll access the CAD drawing for the 90 degree angle V-Block. I'll open the step file, save it, and place the drawing in a new folder titled Stair Rail. You may have to save the drawings in a file format that is compatible with your drawing software. I'll repeat this process, placing all of the clamps and components I'll need for my fixture in my stair rail drawing folder. So, here is my CAD drawing of the BuildPro Max 4 foot by 8 foot modular welding table. I've placed the drawing of the stair rail over the table so I can design my fixture and so I can decide how to set up my table to accommodate this oversized weldment. The BuildPro table is modular. I can adapt the table as needed for each of my fixturing projects. I'm going to remove one plate from the table and mount it at the end of my table to extend the table length. So I'll go from here to my drawing folder and grab the riser block to mount to my table plate. I'll align the holes in the riser block with the holes in the table plate and I'll mount the riser block using flush mount socket head screws. This will give me an additional 10 inches of table length. I'm going to reposition this plate to extend 10 inches past the table edge so I'll have a fixturing surface beneath the entire weldment. I'll start the fixture design here on the stepped portion of our stair railing. I'll place my first four V-blocks here, directly in the table holes to create a fixed position for this tube. I'll need to adjust the positioning of this next tube for proper alignment, so I'll mount my V-block to a straight edge stop, so I can slide my V-block into the ideal support position on the table. The straight edge stops and the V-block spacers are both 0.45 inches in height. So, I can maintain height uniformity whether I'm using the V-blocks in an adjustable or fixed position on the tabletop. This other side of my weldment, which will form the railing at the stair landing, is positioned at an angle. So, I'm going to use the straight edge stop and V-block combination to locate and support all of my tubes. This will allow me to set my V-blocks at any position on the table for the correct alignment of my tubes. To clamp my tubes into position for tack welding, I'm going to use table mount C-clamps. For fast repetitive push down clamping of stock at a uniform height, the table mount C-clamps are the smart choice. These clamps can be placed right into the BuildPro table holes and they instantly lock into place. I'm going to use a table mount C-clamp over or near each of my V-blocks to lock these tubes into position and then my stair rail fixture is complete. After completing the full welds, these table mount C-clamps will quickly unlock with a flip of the release levers. Then I can turn them aside and easily remove my stair rail weldment. 
Universal modular fixturing gives you complete versatility in fixturing. I can adapt the Build Pro table to each unique project, regardless of the size or shape of my weldment. And I know I can fixture my weldments quickly and weld with precision. By using the Build Pro, I can set up dedicated, short run, or prototype fixtures, so I'm always ready to handle the next project. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch the next fixture design video in this series.